Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us for the Flight Systems Industrial Products 1268 Conversion Kit Webinar. This webinar is designed to give you some insight as to the conversion kits that are available to give you some increased performance out of your customer's golf carts. Um, we're going to talk about the kits that we have available, the products that make those up, and then also give you some information on the statistics that are available um, in terms of performance measurement for each of these kits. So most of you guys know by now that we've got more than 45 years of remanufacturing experience. We are definitely the expert when it comes to creating powerful, easy to install conversion kits. And particularly with this webinar, we're going to focus on a control that's been very versatile for us. The Curtis 1268 controller is a programmable controller. It is a 500 amp controller. And we found that by purchasing that control from Curtis, um, and with a little help in engineering, and then some manufacturing of custom harnesses here at Flight Systems Industrial Products, we've been able to create something that's really powerful um, in terms of what your customers will see performance-wise. And if you think about the stock controls that are in most of the vehicles we're gonna talk about today, you're gonna see some really big performance upgrades. So it's important to point out that we do want this to be easy to install. We do want this to make sense for you guys. And so our kits are going to include all of the required hardware and harnesses that make this installation simple. It includes a walk-away relay, um, every kit that we talk about today. That slows the vehicle um, so that it, if the brake isn't applied properly and the cart's left running, it's not gonna just go crazy rolling down a hill. The adapter base plate, this is a lot of the times you're gonna see guys, this control is a little bit bigger. It's kind of, um, it's a bigger square, let's say, than like the PDS control that you may be seeing in like an easy go cart. So we're gonna give you this base plate that is included when the conversion controller is not the same footprint as the stock control, just makes it easier to install it. And then installation instructions. We've got pictures, um, they are very detailed, detailed, I'm sorry, easy to and follow instructions, and they're available on our website, but they also ship with your control, um, or your kit rather, when you order it. And then the other thing that's important to mention is I did say that these could give you some increased performance. That's because these kits offer higher amperage than the stock controllers that are in the vehicles that we're going to talk about today. And I think by now we all know that when you have higher amperage, um, you're going to get more torque to the cart. And when you have more torque, that means that you have more traction. So it's easier for the cart to climb hills and you're going to see acceleration a little bit quicker. So let's talk about, we're gonna do this kind of manufacturer by manufacturer. Let's talk about some of the conversion kits that we have available. On the club car side, we offer um, conversions for both the IQ system and the Excel system. The club car conversion kits, we're seeing torque increases of up to 61% over the stock control. That's fairly impressive when you think about what that does in the vehicle. And I'll tell you, the first time that I drove a cart, a club car very specifically, with this installed, I had my reading glasses on the top of my head, showing my age a little bit, but my glasses flew off my head because the acceleration was so increased from the stock control to the 1268 kit. So on the IQ side, your part number is up there. If you deal with those, please write that part number down, but also know that our customer service team can tell you the right part number if you call in and you're not sure. Just tell us what your vehicle make and model is and we can make sure we get you into the right thing. So on the IQ side, you're gonna replace the club car IQ motor control. You're gonna get that 50, 500 amp current rating and you're gonna get a one year warranty. Um, the same is true on the Excel side. Um, that 500 amp, and I believe those stock controls are 275, so this is a considerable upgrade. They may even be 250 um, on the club car side, so you're doubling, essentially, the um, amperage that you're getting out of the controls. On the EasyGo side, we also offer two different kits available here. And guys, we're just talking about the 1268 controller today, but we have other conversion options available as well. So don't think that you're limited to what I'm showing you today. Um, for the 48 volt TXT, this part number is a little bit different. 
Um, so that part number is a 64-EZHBCMV. This one saw incredible torque increases, and I did not get to drive this one, but I can only imagine what would have happened to the reading glasses on the top of my head had I driven this. We saw 95% increases in torque. Um, same control, guys. So 500 amps, you're going to get a one-year warranty, and again, you're getting all of the wiring harnesses, the hardware, the installation instructions, and any type of adapter plate that's required. The PDF conversion kit, um, that's for your MX, and again, you have a couple of different options there. Um, there are just drop-in replacement controls available for this, but if you're really looking to get the maximum uh, impact with an upgrade, you're going to get 500 amps with this one and an increase of up to 46% in torque. So again, almost doubling um, the torque that you're going to see out of that cart. On the Yamaha side, um, for the G29 and the G22, if you're using, if it's that 26 pin more control in there, you're going to use the 1268-5501YK kit. That is going to replace, again, just that 26 pin. There is a different 23-pin uh, version of that more control, and this does not work for that um, more control. So definitely make sure you're looking at that. But the G22s and the G29 or the drive, or we call it the YDRE in here. Everybody calls it something different. Um, you're going to see up to 70% increase in torque for this. So again, adapter harnesses, walk-away relay, base plates, installation instructions, all of that comes with it. These kits uh, are averaging about $500. Some are a little more, some are a little less. It depends on the additional um, pieces that we had to put with them. So they're a great price for the enhanced uh, torque that your customers are going to see here. So insulation, I keep talking about how easy this is, the instructions that come along with them, the fact that you've got pictures included, and here's a sample. This is obviously two different pages, but on the right-hand side of my screen here, this is the front page of the MX conversion and the back page of the MX conversion. So it's going to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions to make sure that you're doing this installation safely by turning the tow run switch to tow and disconnecting the batteries. It's going to give you the complete parts list that's required so that you can verify that you got all of the parts in your kit that you should have when we shipped it. That always happens. You're always going to get every single part you're supposed to when we ship an order. So just double check that. Um, and then the tools that you'll need as well. And I'm sure that all of you keep your wrenches, your sockets, and your Allen wrenches very organized, and so you can find them exactly where you need them. Um, but I've seen my husband not find them, so you probably want to have them organized in advance. So we're going to tell you how to remove the control that's already in the vehicle, and then we're going to give you, again, those step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the, the new controller into the vehicle. Now, in the event that all of these instructions are not helping you and you need additional assistance, we offer free technical support. Our technical support team is here to help. And so these guys are really unhappy that I put their pictures right in the middle of this webinar, but we're so proud to be able to offer this free technical support to you. We know that you guys know some of this team by name. Um, we know that you like to get the help that they have to offer, so you can always call in and talk with Stan or Roger. Um, you may not talk as often with Brian or Jeremy, but they are our quality administrators. And together, these guys have over 30 years of service experience at FSIP. So they have spent a lot of time with these vehicles, they have spent a lot of time with these systems, and they have spent a lot of time on these individual controls. Um, in the event, though, that you're not the kind of guy to ask for help, and I don't know a whole lot of those guys, but if you don't want to ask, you can check out the forum where there are other people who have asked questions, and we reply to those questions, but your peers can also reply there, and so you get the feel of what the group is doing. Um, we also offer troubleshooting guides, technical manuals, and FAQs on our website. And we have live chat. 
So I also know that sometimes it's difficult to make that phone call because you just want to have reference material for down the road. So if you wanted to do that via live chat, you can print out the conversation and get some step-by-step -step help from our technical team that way. Um, so they're a fantastic resource to have available. That's what I've got to say to you guys today about 1268 conversion kits. I do want to tell you that if you're looking for something just a little bit more high performance, when you pair those 1268 conversion kits with the new FSIP motors that will be available very soon, I promise this time, um, you will absolutely get the ultimate upgrade. And so our next webinar will focus on how you pair those motors with our 1268 conversion kits and the increases in speed and torque that you will see from your vehicle. So we'll break it down in a similar fashion to how we handled today's session, where we will show you by system or by vehicle what types of upgrades you'll see. Now I do have you guys all muted. I am gonna take you off of mute, so if you have any questions, you're able to ask them verbally. Again, I think our moderator has been answering questions via chat. If you had any of those come up, they are direct messages, not everybody can see those. Um, so if you hold tight for me, bear with me, because I always seem to mess this up, and I'll go ahead and I will get you guys unmuted so you can ask your questions. All right, guys, I think I managed to get everybody unmuted. Does anybody have any questions about using these kits, about installing these kits? Does anybody have a question about any other conversion kit? I'm happy to answer those for you today as well. Quiet group today? <laughs> you did well. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> you guys make me nervous because I can't see if you're paying attention or not. All right, well, if there's no questions, um, I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your days. I know that you have thousands of other things that you could be doing as opposed to listening to me, um, but we appreciate the time you spend with us. We do not have the next webinar scheduled. Uh, we're working on the content right now, but we hope to have that posted in the next two weeks. We will send an email out when that um, webinar becomes available to register. So we hope that you will join us for the motor uh, perform, per, performance motor webinar that we will be holding probably late this month or early in May. And if there's no other questions, I'm going to let you guys get back to your day. Thanks so much for your time. Bye. Bye-bye.